Shocker alert, the mainstream media has a problem with Christians. It shouldn't be so shocking. They've been attacking Christianity for a long time, but it's very interesting because their disdain for Christianity is becoming way too apparent. But of course the world hates Jesus because just like the Lord said in his word, his presence testifies of their evil deeds. What's going on guys? It's Big Nick back for another video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel today. Before we get into today's video, if you guys like Christian content, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, down below if you are new and turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video without further ado let's get into it so recently candace owens did an interview with former cnn host don lemon and when christian persecution was mentioned it got heated as many of you know by now the far left has been anti-christian for a very long time considering they champion for values that go directly against the word of god such as promoting identity confusion that's labeled as love advocating for mercilessly slaughtering innocent children in the womb which is labeled as a woman choice and bearing false witness against their neighbor by continually concocting these crazy conspiracy lunacies about conservatives like us literally being Nazis or whatever. I mean, these people just make up whatever they want, but a false witness will not go unpunished. The Bible is clear about this. Anyways, for those with discernment, we know how satanic the far left is, but after this reaction from Don Lemon, we got to see a visual representation of how much they really hate Christianity. When Candace Owens went on Don Lemon's show, she brought up how Christians are the most persecuted group in the world, and Don Lemon literally laughed in her face. It's not about the Holocaust, okay? Christians suffered too. In fact, we are the most persecuted religion in the world. And I am so sick of it. I am so sick of there can only be one victim oh, narrative. Candace, and if you start on. talking I am about a Christian and we are not, are not the most persecuted in the world. That is come a on. fact. What, what are you let saying? Let say, we're not the most persecuted religion like, in the world. Do you know what's like happening in Armenia? The fact that they laugh about Christian persecution is very telling on who they serve. But this is a common tactic when it comes to the left when you give them facts. They'll often gaslight you into ignoring reality and they'll feed you lies as if it's truth. And notice how Don Lemon claims that he's a Christian as well when he tries to discredit Candace Owens' factual statement about Christian persecution. Like, the fact that he said that was crazy to me because this dude's literally married to a man. I don't know if he's read Leviticus 18.22, but you'll clearly see that his lifestyle is, like, nowhere comparable to being a Christian at all. We gotta stop throwing the word Christian around so loosely because that's a very honorable title, and the reality is a lot of people have just beat that term into the ground, but it is an honor to be a Christian. You can't be living in unreal repentant sin and claim that you're a follower of Christ. You know what's happening me, in Nigeria? Do you know what just happened you, in Canada? The fake story that was, pro this... was propagated by all of the mainstream Wait, networks right. about the nuns and they found the mass burial, which allowed 85 Catholic Wait. churches to be burned to the ground in the last three years in Canada, we are still being persecuted right now. So I take okay. great offense to you I, coming in here about the sensitivities of the people that are working on your show when I'm sitting here telling you that I'm a Christian and I'm offended well, by what you're saying and you are, and you laugh, you show, mock Christian persecution. Very, very Do you think it's acceptable because... to laugh when someone tells you about Christian persecution? So just some context here, right before this clip, Don Lemon was telling Candace that he was hesitant to have her on because her views were deeply offensive towards his Jewish co-workers. Workers. And I think the reason for this is because Candace Owens was exposing a lot of lies that we've been told about World War II regarding that. So he's like using Jewish people as a crutch to virtue signal <laughs> to basically look morally superior. But when Christian persecution gets brought up, he laughs at her and gaslights her. So she's clearly pointing out his hypocrisy. Because let me tell you something. If I had done that, no, if I laughing. had laughed I about the Holocaust, I, don't think I would be chased out of polite laughable. society. Then don't laugh. Don't laugh at okay. Christian persecution. Don't well, do being it. Laughable is mean that the whole that the whole the name is in the term. It's do not laughable. laugh. You literally that, just laugh like when Candace, I talk about Christian persecution. Is, Don't do that ever again. Not in my presence. So Don says it's laughable because Christian persecution is not a term because he's denying the fact that Christians get persecuted at all. I mean, just like Candace mentioned, you can literally look this up and you'll see that Christianity is the most persecuted religion in the world, with over 365 million Christians being subject to high levels of persecution and discrimination. Places like the Middle East, North Korea, China are literally a reign of terror against Christianity, with many believers forced to hold services underground. But it's not surprising to me that the far left finds this funny, because the reality is their hatred for Christianity is just as deep as these other areas that I mentioned. And you know, they try it with the whole, we're gonna sue you if you don't bake me and my husband a cake, or we're gonna take away your children because you're not affirming their pronouns. Like there are undertones of their 
brewing of wanting to persecute us on a larger scale, but they can't do it jihad style like they really would want to. Regarding persecution, Jesus says this in Matthew 5.10, Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Obviously, it should be no surprise to you that this hostility towards the faith is so out in the open because Jesus said this was going to happen. This is the harsh reality of the leftist mindset. Their disdain for Christians is apparent, but this is what happens when you have a movement that has embraced their sin to the fullest. Because the deeper in sin you go, the more hostile you become to the things of God. It's so important that we're mindful of other believers that continue to suffer for the gospel, even if we're not in the same location as them. Let's take a look at Hebrews 13.3 about this matter. It tells us, remember them that are in bonds as bound with them, and them which suffer adversity as being yourselves also in the body. Candace stood on business, and I applaud her for speaking up for our brothers and sisters overseas that have a very different reality than us here in the West. If you made it all the way till the end of the video and you're a Christian watching this and you know that through the persecution we will prevail, I want you to comment down below, we will prevail. If you guys want to financially sow into the ministry, I have an offering link that's in the description or I have merch that I dropped which you can also get in the description. I'll see you guys very soon for another video. I love you guys so much. May God bless all of you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, take care and peace out. Yeah, I can